What's up everyone, this is Saint Sark 91 back once again for some more Let's Play Digimon World 2. In the last part we got our two team members to start off with, Crabmon and Gabumon. And we're gonna try yet again to get to the bottom of the SESI domain in order to fight the boss and clear out said domain. Here's hoping. A lot of times I get to start right next to the actual, you know, pad. And of course I'm nowhere near the damn thing. Yeah, but maybe if I defeat a few rookies around here I'll eventually get enough to buy a decent battery. Maybe. It's about what I'm gonna have to do anyway. At like 30 times a pop, it's not it's not gonna be a fast way to the end. You can just see that. But you know, we are right next to it for once. Alright, let's see if we're gonna go right next to it. Even though I don't really think that 30 plus is gonna be all that all that much that we need. And I'm definitely not going to make it this round either. Damn you, game! Thankfully, you can just press the X button and you can actually throw the enemy to you, so you don't have to waste any EP. And I guess it's back to the digital city for me. I don't think I'm going to waste any more of you guys' time. I'm just going to sell some items in order to get myself a new battery. There's... there's no point in waiting around. Plus, I think we're all sick of seeing the same damn enemies over and over again. Even though that's kind of... kind of be the... the main thing for this game. We're going to be revisiting areas all the goddamn time. Whether it be for the missions, or just for Digimon that you want to befriend and use for Digivolution. Do we already have one of those? I think we do. Let's talk with the mechanic. Upgrade! Finally! Now we hold 200. But why stop there? I don't think we're going to really need these, H these HP discs or this. So, I'll just sell one of them. That definitely should help us out in the, in the movement department. There we go. Now we definitely have enough. And I'm not even going to worry about HP. I never really do. To be honest, you you don't really need uh, a very high-powered uh, engine with a lot of HP. I think really the most you need is like 2,800, and that's about it. The batteries, on the other hand, those are the bigger deal. Ah, uh, 300. Now we can go all over the damn place. Without worries. We can finally start moving in the damn game! Finally! And there's no bad as Surprising! Ah, empty chests. Bastards. Setting me up for for disappointment. Yeah, let's head over here. Of course, it's blocked. And none 
of the Digimon you encounter in the game move diagonally, so they can only move one spot, depending on who it is. Some can actually move two spots. Some don't even move at all. Ooh, EP pack. That'll also come in handy. Recover 100 energy points. Yeah, but we, I don't think we're going to be needing it right now. Raking the cash, raking in the XP. Yeah, the, the effects of getting hit with a booby-trapped treasure chest is kind of random. It can either disable a uh, part of your Digi-Beetle, it can make you unable to move, unable to move straight, damage your Digimon, or simply do nothing. Anywho, we're on the machine floor. And this is Hanguruma. He's basically... A gear. And that's about it. Ooh, new battle music. He's not gonna be much trouble. Especially when we got two level fours and a level five going up against him. And I just realized that Ebera is spelled wrong, I forgot to put the age. Oh well. That's not going to become a big deal. Uh, I think a few rounds of this and he will be able to take it. I don't think anyone can actually take advantage of this floor except for him. And he missed! You suck! Yeah. Two more rounds of this and he should be good. Depending on if we miss or not. Hope and cross your fingers, kitties. Before people keep, before people get into the comments and uh, bitch about how Hankurumon is ripping up Clean Clang from Pokemon, he came first, right? So it's them ripping off him, not the other way around. Hanguruman's Digivolution line is actually kind of unique. It's not simply adding another gear and calling it an evolution, is what I'm trying to say. It actually turns into a different machine. Makes sense. Victory against Hanguruman. All level 5s and 210 bits. Yes, bits are your money. I've mentioned that before. Now you gotta report back to the leader. And say, yep, I'm done. Bring on the next mission. It's always this slow walking in. It's never like you can't just go right straight to the digital city. No. You gotta take the, sh the longest fucking stroll in history. See if they're offering anything yet. And no. Maybe after I get my mission, that's when they put it in. And once you join a guard team, you cannot go into the other guard team's uh, headquarters. Sorry to say. That's how shit works. What's up? Random guard. Not you do not that you really do anything. Seriously, I don't think anyone ever tries to break in if they don't really do anything. They just stand there. It's not like you guys could have done it yourself. Video and this dimension. Domain. Why did I say domain? Video and disc domains. Destroy the two boss 
That's kind of the recurring mission. New domain. Find the bosses inside and eliminate them. Hey, what's up, asshole? Hello, Joy Joy. <laughs> Bite the weenie. Clearly he doesn't have anything left to say, Joy Joy. How you can be this oblivious is beyond me. Everyone has to take their sweet ass time walking around. At least we got one friend. One friend, uh friendly tamer on our team. That has to mean something, right? Hell yeah, I'm gonna beat his ass. Let's see what's at the tamer club. Funky music. And this is a black sword tamer. Kinda really cool duds. I mean, also I think that the Black Swords probably look the best. They have the best uniform. Mm. Yeah, I have plenty of space. You didn't give me a damn thing, you lying bastard. Ooh, that's interesting. Hi, Palmon! I'm gonna let that speak for itself. To be honest, I can kind of imagine hearing the voice actor, the voice actress lyrics, uh, seeing it, and that kind of makes it funnier in a way. Not saying that the voice actors are bad. To be honest, they're probably better than Pokemon. To be honest, but uh, you know. Which one do I do first? Video or disc? Uh, okay, let's do disc. Hello! Okay. Yeah, I'm not gonna get any trouble from the on. And uh, another interesting tidbit that I have neglected to mention. Whenever you level up, if you, uh... If you go over the limit, say, like if if Patamon required just like three uh, evolution, three XP, and you get more than that, and if it's enough to get to the next level, your Digimon will actually have an experience cost of zero to get to the next level. It doesn't do it automatically, so that kind of blows. Oh, and you have a new one. Go Beermon himself. Didn't know why he kept so silent there. And to be honest, he is the exact same thing as his icy counterpart. The only difference is his looks. That's it. Exact same move, and pretty much the exact same evolution. Not much to comment on there. Yes, yeah, so I kind of like the kind of like Snow Beermon better, considering you know he's actually wearing clothes, even though he's not wearing pants. And he also looks a bit more civilized than his little goblin counterpart. You know, he's not running around barefoot. He actually looks like he belongs in like a tribe or something. Let's get rid of him. I remember if the data, t if they're, uh, they revolve the, the types around in this, in this area. Because some er areas will just have virus, vaccine, or data. And I'm kind of thinking that this one has only viruses. Of 
eventually I'm probably gonna have to start start uh, grinding off screen. Not right now, but yes. Not right now, but in the future it's gonna happen. Because basically I'm gonna be uh, befriending uh, a lot of Digimon. That's no Gonna be befriending a lot of Digimon basically to get their higher ups attacks. One. Definitely one in particular I'm looking for. Not gonna explain it now until I find, find the guy. How the hell did you all miss? Well, except for Gavumon, but his attack was super weak. This is ridiculous. It's only supposed to affect him, not the entire party. Because if it did, it would show all of them in succession. It doesn't really matter, because he's dead. Definitely getting a hell of a lot more, since there are actually two in that party. Now that's where they're going to start putting in at least two per, uh, two per uh, party for enemies. And they're level twos. That's why they're giving me a hell of a lot more experience. Check over here first. Yeah, I'm not gonna bother with uh, the goblins. Let's just go to the next floor. Ooh, we have an acid floor. And more Gobiramon. Acid hurts your digi beetle when you walk over it. You actually need to buy tires that are of the same color as the acid itself. And you guys already saw my fight against Gazi and Giza in the beginning, so I'm just gonna cut that one out. That's a hell of a lot of dough to earn from that. And what just happened to me in the battle is that one of my Digimon actually got paralyzed. Now, unlike Pokemon where it had, I think, five elements sleeping, poisoning, freezing, paralysis, burn, confusion, that's six. Technically six, anyway. Digimon only has three. It has confusion, paralysis, and poison. Kinda better, but kinda not, considering you can't inflict any more of that on your opponent. I'm getting swarmed by nothing but virus types. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that my assumption of this domain only having virus types was correct. Because right now, that's all I've been running into. That was longer than it needed to be. One more piece of information that I need to get out. Whenever you attack an enemy and a previous ally has already defeated it, because they don't know, your attack won't automatically go to the next enemy. It will actually miss. So be careful and you kinda have to gauge on how much power your Digimon actually have. Well, I don't think that we're going to be going for uh, the boss in this one. Not in this part, anyway. Yeah, let's get out of here. Autopilot, take us out. Might as well take one last look at the, the battery, see if how much I can in increase it for a, uh, put it in for the day. Because why not have the biggest and best of everything? Hmm, I can. Well, that was 
the last one, I guess. 400, that'll do us fine. We don't need much more than that right now. Later on, we're gonna be needing all we can get. Oh boy. I think that's gonna be doing it for this part, though. So next time, and let's play Digimon World 2. We'll head back to the Disc Domain, do a little bit of training, and maybe even take on the boss of said domain. I'll see you guys then. Peace out.